Hey guys, welcome to the Munchy Kitchen. You got some leftover dates lying around? Well, I have the perfect recipe for you. For today's fluffy date bread, we'll need 200 grams dates, 3 quarter cup coconut milk, half cup flour, a quarter cup cocoa powder, 2 teaspoon baking powder, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 cup almond meal, 2 eggs, half cup brown sugar, and half cup of coconut oil. First, let's preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Next, we'll prepare the loaf pan by lining it with parchment paper. Just set it inside and flatten the creases in the corners to keep the paper sitting in the pan. To remove the pits from the dates, just take a knife and make a cut on one side. Break it open with your fingers. Now take out the pit in the middle. Voila! If you bought pitted dates, you can just skip this step. Put the dates in a small saucepan, to which we'll be adding the coconut milk. We'll bring this to a quick boil. Once you see it bubbling nicely, switch off the heat and let it stand covered for 10 minutes. While the dates are sitting, we'll sift the dry ingredients starting from the flour, cocoa powder, baking powder and baking soda nicely into a large bowl. If you have some remaining clumps in your sifter, just push them through with your whisk or the back of a spoon works really well too. The almond meal just needs to be stirred through at the end because the meal is actually too grainy to be sifted. Next, we'll move on to the wet ingredients. First, we'll whisk the eggs with the sugar until the sugar is well dissolved. Then we add the liquid coconut oil. If your coconut oil has firmed up, just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds to melt it right back down. Here you can see the consistency becoming thicker. Your dates should be nice and warm by now soaking in coconut milk. We'll process it until mostly smooth. I'm using an immersion blender, but if you only have a standard food processor, you can just transfer it and process it there. Once it's processed, stir it through to combine the dates and the coconut milk well. It will be a smooth paste with some flecks of date throughout. Now we add the freshly blended dates to our egg mixture and give it another whisk. Start slowly to prevent your yummy date mixture from spilling out of the bowl. Our last addition will be the dry ingredients. Be careful pouring it in and not clumsy like me. Last whisk to bring it home. Start slow and stir just enough so it's well combined. Our batter is ready for the oven. 
Pour the batter into your prepared pan and smooth out the top. I'm using my handy dandy silicone spatula, but the back of a spoon works well too. It's baking time! Pop it into the lower third rack of the oven and bake for 45 minutes. To test if it's done, you can stick a thin skewer or a small knife into the center. If it comes out clean, then you're good to go. Let it sit in the pan for 15 minutes before taking it out to cool completely. Although, there's something comforting about a warm slice of date bread, generous dollops of ricotta cheese, and the heavy drizzle of sweet, sweet honey. Um, excuse me while I...